I'm here with J. Scott Evans, and his 2015 president. During your speech at the annual meeting opening ceremonies, you introduced us to the concept of trademark lawyers sort of expanding their thinking around trademarks to include the concept of brands and um, this concept that trademark attorneys should be brand ambassadors. Trademarks are merely a legal right that is granted to an owner of the intellectual property by a geopolitical unit, a country. And it defines what rights you get in enforcement in the courts. But that's only one part of a brand. A brand is really a trademark that has this emotional and relationship with consumers all around it. It's a much bigger story than just a trademark. And I think because um, consumers are so engaged today that you can't just think about yourself as a trademark attorney. You need to think about yourself as a brand. So for instance, with my company, Adobe Systems, um, we are a very family-oriented, um, fun company. We deal with creatives. So I'm not going to be sending out a cease and desist letter that's going to be very harshly worded because that's not the engagement we want with our community and with the public. We want to have that brand of a friendly, fun, creative company, and we want that to go out in all of our communications. You don't bifurcate and the legal has one attitude, and marketing has one attitude, and sales has another attitude, what you have is you have a holistic view of that. And what's that relationship with the public and with the consumer? And I think that trademark attorneys need to be part of that process and think about that. What does it mean for um, trademark practitioners, do you think, to, to take on this um, approach to thinking about trademarks as brands? Well, I think you just have to realize that um, in today's world, we have a generational shift that's occurring. And the millennials, as marketing people refer to them, have a very different view of intellectual property, driven mostly, I would say, by their desire to consume music and movies on any device, anywhere, anytime. And so I think that with that generational shift, we need to think about how we enforce our brands um, differently. Um, if somebody puts up something on a Facebook page and um, has things to say about you, then rather than calling Facebook and pulling it down, maybe a better approach is to engage in a constructive conversation in the social media. Trademarks, while they are an asset, the fundamental th legal philosophy behind them is consumer protection. Mm -hmm. So if consumers aren't harmed, you don't need to enforce your trademark rights. It's not the same sort of asset management and because copyrights and patents have gotten so litigious over the last 10 years, trademarks somehow have gotten sucked into that and that negative feeling, that, that aura that's around patent trolls and the music industry um, has bled off on us. And it's hurting us, I think, when we are trying to advocate for brands and to get younger people excited about brands. If you're a luxury goods manufacturer and you find that they're making these products in conditions where they're abusing children, I think that's a reason to go after people if they're harming people. Uh, if you find that it has a horrible economic impact on your company, I think that's when you take action. When we sit down and we take an action, we think about it organically and how it affects our entire organization. And I don't think that's done enough. And I think that, that what needs to be done by trademark practitioners is they need to talk to their business people about what do we want to project to the public. And then they need to align their strategy with that. What does that mean for consumers if trademark lawyers start to think um, more this way? Well, I think, you know, one of the things trademark lawyers have to remember is if you are really famous, there's a little heat in the kitchen, isn't there? And so developing a sense of humor Example, when I was at Yahoo, I went to an ICANN meeting in some Asian city, and one of the registrars walked in, and he had a T-shirt, and it was all different logos, and it said, YouTube, MySpace, and I'll Google your Yahoo. And it was all the different logos, and someone was like, well, that's infringement. And I said, no, that's a joke. And I'm really thrilled that our logo is so famous that somebody would use it in that fashion. So legal is sort of uh, what we call 
G&A. It's an expense. It's not a revenue driver. And so they sort of sit to the side. And I think that's a mistake in a dynamic world. I think legal needs to be involved. Mm -hmm. So being a part of the conversation and being in there and rolling up your sleeves and understanding what they're trying to achieve and how you can play a role in that, I think that's it. It's getting involved in your own organization and making changes there.